These episodes of South Park will give you the dark theory and nightmares that you have to solve. Number 10, Scott Tenorman must die. In this episode, Carmen is, is basically pulling off a prank by, by thinking he had his first pube, which he got he bought from, from an older teenager, Scott Tenorman, which is his brother. Carmen is trying to persuade by pulling off a prank by getting his money back for just the pubes. He basically, Scott tells him to get on his knees and say, I'm a little picky, here's my snout, oink, oink, oink. But basically, but basically, Carmen has a brilliant idea. He has ideas by saying that he wants, by getting his money back, doing what, doing what Scott tells him to, Hiring Radiohead to come to Colorado, hiring a band to come down to Colorado, embarrassment, and even having, hiring a horse to bite his dick off. But in this in this episode, Carmen hosts a chili con episode, where him and Scott are challenged to do a chili competition to see who's the best. But according, Carmen said he switched his with Chef. Basically, the dark theory is Carmen. Sh Actually killed his parents by having someone shying him and putting him into a meat grinder and stuffing into chili. Scott Tenement was surprised at what he found with his chili, and it was something. His chili? What he had found his chili was a finger. But that's not all. Carmen have had basically hired. The English rock band Radiohead to come visit South Park. Until in that, they left and car my Carmen licking his tears, which left fans to quit. Number 9, Butters' very own episode. In this episode, which we know of Butters, is basically one of the most greediest and cutest characters ever on South Park. This talks about his parents having an anniversary, and and Steven or Chris is going out to, to get Linda an anniversary gift. By, by having Linda have Butters go see what he's up to, Butters basically seeing him go, by going into a movie, by going to the movies, which he was seeing Fast and Firing Man 9, and that by saying he saw him going into a gay guy's club, which is called the White Swallow. People have found out that Chris was actually gay and a sexual assaultist. Which leaving Linda to kill Butters. But Butters really survives and looking for his way back to Colorado. To South Park. Which basically think to make sure that they didn't kill him. Which led Linda to suicide. They think it was a Puerto Rican kidnapper. Who kidnapped Butters. But it was, they made it up. By having, by having the three characters. Including OJ Simpson. To solve the case for them. Which basically they have. Number eight. I'll be right back. Number eight. Unfulfilled and bike parade. This one also has a controversy. In this episode, a big bike parade is happening at South Park. And basically the whole South Park kids are basically trying to are trying to get enough money from Amazon to have it. But the man himself, Jeff Bezos. CEO of Amazon had visited South Park to tell the mayor that most Amazon people are basically knowing what happened to Josh's death by by wrapping him up in plastic and putting and shipping into a box, which will if which it opens up, his size will explode by people by people protesting outside of Amazon to get back to work on unf unfulfilling them. Basically, most most people are appearing on the streets. When the bike parade they say was canceled. <laughs> this causes revolution that only people have not noticed. But according to the knowledge, people have found that Jeff Bezos was actually a sinister telepath, meaning he's behind the whole lead of Amazon. A sinister telepath, which is a definition, sinister tel.
So a sense of telepath is basically a weird hybrid like the rake according to his head which is basically having the knowledge of what's happening but he later up on a bike parade he, they all got unfulfilled just to make sure that he was actually spying on them the whole time number seven time to get cereal and no one got cereal this takes us back that bamboo pig had actually returned to south park like in Mamber Pig and, and Imagination Land, where, Car where if Carmen believes that, Ma that leprechauns are real, he will have Kyle suck his balls. But according to this one, the boys are visited by Al Gore again to help them st stop Mamber Pig from attacking them. But basically, they have him hired. The only way to, to stop Mamber Pig is by summoning Satan. But the uh, but the, the South Park Police Department are are not cooperating right now and just sticking online by and just sticking by playing Red Dead Redemption 2. The whole trouble between that is because the boys are trying to help are trying to summon Satan to stop Man Bear Pig from attacking South Park. And most of them. Detective Harrison Yates is just basically Busy playing right there after two when he found his wife was basically was finishing, finishing up the game by telling him he wants to start a new life. But Saint had died, and now there's nothing we can do but just basically just go ahead and start having dedicated vote. So great. Number six, the Skank Hunt trilogy. This episode was basically was basically one of the darkest episodes in season twenty. Daryl Blafowski, known as Skank Hunt Forty Two, is basically trolling peep trolling of women talking about the vagina and how they hang low. People have found that it was Carmen who was posting those tweets by taking them to an abandoned cabin, saying it was his uncle's, and the part is they destroyed his stuff, thinking that he was the one who's posing all the tweets. Him and Hardy are just behind this. But basically, basically, by li by Gerald just just texting these memes and listening to Boston, he basically has the weird controversy of that he's actually visited by a, an online user as well, the name of Dildo Schwagens. But basically, this episode has more theories and needs to be explaining. In the episode Douche in the Danish, the boys are trying to support are trying to support Denmark by offering people Danishes. But De but Denmark is building a troll trace tower, which is basically an online trolling expertise, so that people can find out what, who people have been texting around the world. Gerald gets invited to that place, where he basically was a setup, claiming that he was the one who texted all those memes, and it was true. Basically, in their episode. Heidi, Carmen dreams of him being going to Mars, which results to him, Heidi, and Butters going to SpaceX, where they meet the man himself, who made Tesla, you guessed it, Elon Musk. This caused Heidi to throw his throw her phone off the edge, and then basically, Trollton has been destroyed. But in, in a later on episode, Splay Tomato. The episode where, where, the, where the president has a weird theory over his dedicated votes. The boys are re-seen again with Carmen and Heidi, where she threw her phone off the bridge. And by visiting the abandoned cabin, basically saying that this is where they store your stuff. And also, and also where they they actually saw something. This is, this is the reference and the parody of of the 2017 Stephen King's new novel It, thinking that the president was basically behind this by having them having sang out his finger sandwiches and putting up a Fox News trap. Basically, the plan was real wrong, and he escapes again. And according to this, Trey, Trey Park is. Trey Parker is fed up with South Park's jokes about Trump daily. 
the weird theory at all. Number five, Woodland Critter Christmas. Woodland Critters are mostly creatures who are basically are basically celebrating Christmas behind Satanism. According to this, according to this, Stan wants to help the cr Christmas critters by building a manger to put to put the reborn Jesus on. But it turns out it was the Antichrist. In order to summon the Antichrist, they basically had taken their animal, pointed it onto a basket, and by cutting it open, by saying, Hey, blood orgy! Which shocking that Stan, what, what Stan saw. The creepy theory is, what does, why is, why is this really, why is this so, like, so paranormal? But, yeah, after he, after he killed the mother lion of two baby mountain lions, it's up to Stan to help them, because mountain lions are in danger to stay. He forces Stan, puts his cow to help him, but basically, he, the Antichrist has possessed him. And it's only for Santa Claus to kill Lee and the Antichrist. They also appear in Imagination Land. Number four, Trapped in the Closet. In this episode, Stan is basically wanting to save enough money. He basically gets involved with the revolution of Scientology, and people are saying he's a new L. Ron Hubbard. In this episode, Stan was saving enough money for something, where he thinks. Where he thinks us that he wants to sign for a free membership of joining Scientologists with Tom Cruise, John Travolta, and R. Kelly. The B Stan has a weird obnoxious theory that this was actually a, a controversy of how of how R. Kelly was saying was saying how if they don't come out of the closet, then I'll pull out my gun. <laughs> Stan I tried away. Basically, the presidential speech of L. Ron Hubbard has behaved. Basically, Stan was basically giving a full speech telling how Scientology was basically was good. But he believes that Scientology was fake. And saying they're going to sue him. People are thinking that he was the one. People are thinking that have found out that he was the one who's basically behind Scientology. He's saying that Scientology is his fake. A lot, of, a lot of fan theories saying that Scientology is basically one of the most important religions ever. Such as people who don't believe in Scientology. As Tom Cruise says this, I will see, I'll see you in England. Whereas later on in the episode, well, people saying that he was a flesh packer. But Scientology is basically meaning that he was mocking the faith. He was mocking the faith. <laughs> this led millions of people in, in shock. But Scientology was basically it has, it was an obnoxious state of real importance to religion. So what's that? They sue Stan off screen, which basically it was the whole time Tom Cruise and John Travolta were behind this. The prejudice of Scientology was basically real today, so that's why Scientology is important to culture. Number three, the return of Chef. In the later season of episode ten, basically Chef is leaving, leaving Colorado to go to a fan. A fancy place called the Super Adventure Club. But here's a story. The the voice actor, uh, the voice actor Isaac Hayes cannot voice Chef anymore due to the mocking of Scientology, which led him to his of his enrollment. So he plays Chef one more time. But this is the real reason. The mocking of Scientology was basically he was brainwashed by a little fruity club. For just people who are basically investment on people who are basically child molesters. Which layers Chef falling off the bridge, off a bridge, and basically getting attacked by a mountain lion and a grizzly bear. 
and have def and defecate him himself by saying you bastards. The, the main reason why Scientology is important is because that's Trey Parker and Matt Stone are obviously Scientologists, and you want to make an episode where they think in that the belief of Scientology is really real. Number two, the China problem. In the episode, the China problem, Karma is basically is is as having a terrible nightmare of the Chinese gang up on him. So him and Butters are just are basically going in disguise as Chinese. Basically, are, tr are gonna basically they went to the restaurant where they see some Chinese people having dinner. Which they think they're a, they're a confrontation of him. While the boys are watching an Indiana Jones movie, seeing Indiana getting raped by Steven Spielberg and George Lucas, which lets fans just lets fans to do shocking member. Basically, the whole people have cried over this, especially who who basically found out that Indiana Jones was being raped. But people who basically who basically love Indiana Jones, please do not watch this. You'll be warned, please. Now before we get to the number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions that you have to see. Waking four thousand, the, the, the Kathy Lee gift gift for theory. Let me think, guys. I'm sorry. I'll be back. Freak strike, where Butters acts like a freak person just to go to a golf tournament. Britney Spears' new look, where the boys push her boundaries too far, she shoots herself. Dead kids, school shooting malfunction. Number one, a boy and a priest. The whole gang of South Park are basically obsessed with church. And after they make after they make memes of the priests, <laughs> basically, Butters has a has a talk with with the with Father Maxi, saying that he basically cannot be the the South Park's local priest no more. And by having a, a cleanup crew that consists of a bunch of priests who are who are basically just cleaning up what they know has come. By infiltrating Stan and on Clyde's birthday, they decided to take them to go camping, which only left fans to find out why, why, why a boy and a priest are basically having a, a weird theory. There has been no explanation of why this was the was one of the darkest episodes, but I know one reason why. If you look, I know why. Look if you look closely right here, there's a sink there's a secret cross behind this. Mean that they're, they're the people who are basically cleansing the people of their spirits. That's the that's that's the dark theory, is that cross right there. Huh. No. Another one, another one is, if you look closely under this priest right here, the priest has a secret symbol behind. If you look right here, you can see the cross right there. This is, that's, that's actually the same cross on the other, on this one right here. So I'm pretty sure these people are just are just a bunch of cleanup crews who are basically trying to keep the, their their com their country clean. So what do you think of this these episodes? Do you think they're do you think they're unrealistic, or do they need more explanation? Please leave a comment down below, and then the winner decides uh, their choice. Thanks for watching, and always wonders thumbs up for safety.